What did he just say? The very first bit. I fucked my girlfriend in the ass. Why don't you get it back? So basically. Like you try again. <laughs> 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 what did I do with it? <laughs> no! Well, that's that's not that that's 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 different strength, people. This man had sat the chair side to break. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> He just needs a hug. 19 minute song. I know, he goes through. What he needs is intervention. That's what what he is needs. it? A, a biography? It's just a, all the accusations or whatever. Oh, he's turned them into a song? A 19 minute song. Yeah, essentially. That's, that's, that's almost as long as Kanye's album. Yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. Fucking hell. Righty. Uh, he should have just apologized. He should have just said, I'm sorry I raped him. Let's move on. He's, he hasn't been accused of rape. Oh, has he not? No, which is part of what he's saying, actually. This is Colton. Cool, which has a What's he being accused of? Um, okay, let's start. Guys, welcome to another episode of Talk About It. So you got Bryn in the house. And Visa the Don. And we've got a special guest. I'll let him introduce, him, introduce himself. Juanito. <laughs> who will remain faceless, but you'll hear his voice as we go through. Um, from what, a couple of weeks again since the last one? So we'll pick I don't up. think so, actually. Must be. It's been a week, no? No, no, no. Oh, what's it been? I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe it's been a week, maybe it's been more. But um, back on it a bit more frequently now, yeah, which is good. Yeah. So, yeah, starting off, just because we'll get straight into it, because I haven't actually been bothered to listen to R. Kelly's 19 minutes. I haven't been bothered to listen to R. Kelly for a long while now. In general, it is that. It is that. Yeah. Um, I just feel like, regardless of all the other shit, right? You know, when you hear them kind of stories that people say that the person that protests a lot is guilty. But he hasn't protested at Nine, 19 minutes of protesting. Okay, but let's say... It's kind of guilty to me. You know oh, what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's a long, okay. a long admission. Okay, okay, okay. But hold on a second. He's been accused of being a pedophile since, what, 1995? <laughs> now, we're in 2018. <clears throat> so, therefore, he has not been protesting at all. So he protests, what, 25 years later, and now he's protesting too much, and he's guilty. No, no, what I mean is, like, you spend so much time being silent about things, mm-hmm. right? Just carry well, on being silent. Well, what's he up? But he is a pedo. Well, I mean, allegedly. 25 years. 25 allegedly. years. Been it's 2018, here. you need to say allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll stick with allegedly. What but I'm saying the same is, but he, we, know, we know facts he married Aaliyah when she was underage, technically. He told Wendy Williams that that was love. And apparently her parents signed uh, Oh, I don't know her parents are still, are still wrong as well, but you tell, you tell them he didn't tap that after you married it. I mean, look, of course, if you married it, it can be love, but it's still... But that's, that's, still, that's still underage sex, I'm not, I'm not... All I'm saying is... Man, that's it. That there's, Man, that's that, it. that there's facts there that you can't dispute. That. I mean, <clears throat> obviously, look, it's weird. Mm. But her parents agreed. Mm. In a lot of nations around the world... The age of consent is fourteen. I know that's not that in in, in the US, but however, <laughs> can I just say, can I just say, sorry, what what real quick, just, <laughs> what are you it's gonna drop on camera, yeah, no, I don't care. a random part of a chair which I broke just sitting on it. <laughs> Every time I come to this house, I break a chair. This yeah. is this started to worry me a little bit, True. but like I'm saying, like you can't you can't be coming. You know, with a nineteen minute admission track about mm-hmm. everything, but he's not admitting. He's, he's not <clears> admitting to. Obviously, the the allegations. No, but it's like... <laughs> He's admitting to... 19 minutes. minutes. It's definitely too long. Um, but... Um, it's questionable, mate. It's questionable. I mean, look. I'm not going to listen to it. Mm. I, I actually did read, read the lyrics, but I didn't listen to it. I read not all of it, because there's about mm. 20 verses, as you can mm. imagine. Um, and so some of it is about his his career how he mm. doesn't know his music and da 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 so it sort of um it makes you sort of realize that he uh, he's more of a of a dummy than what we thought um this, did he say he can't read or something he said he can't read that he's this the dyslexic i, I find that that bad. he's broke which is why he, he needs to tour mm. I, I i find it difficult to believe that that um so when that's wrote all these songs, so then he hasn't written his right. songs. Yeah. But potentially he freestyles. 
Because man's got a good memory there. Yeah, I've heard that he free, but if you freestyle, then obviously it's recorded, so you just listen to it back, I suppose. Mm. But that's not what I'm saying. He's saying he can't read. Yeah. He's chat, look. It's, it's, there's, he, there's a, there's a possibility. There's a and he's coming out with excuses and he's coming out with things. He's, he's, he's probably he's said he can't read just so we can like play up for the most of him might as well be gibberish to me, but I can't yeah, read yeah, this. Get, <laughs> I don't know, date date of birth, I don't know what it means. <laughs> Yo, what, date Juanita. Bang, That's what he thinks it means. <laughs> Juanita, we, we, we all know that, look, maybe he did, he did not know his age, right? But what we do know is that at that age, she didn't look her age. She didn't look her age. Now, yesterday, we were watching uh, a re- reality show. Somebody was like, damn, yeah. she's yeah. fine. Yeah. I said, Juanito, <laughs> she's 17. <laughs> what? Well, she's still fine. <laughs> Listen, 17 is legal age, though, isn't it? So, you get me. I mean, I, would, I don't think that's in, really... In, in the UK, yes. Yeah. But in America, it's not. Is so it, what I'm saying... It? No. When was it 18 then? 18. Yeah. In some states, I guess. Yeah, in some states. Because okay. Tiger was clued up on that. <clears throat> oh, shit, yeah. yeah of Tiger was well clued yeah. up on that. Thing. <laughs> you know, uh, but, um, so yeah, look, I'm not, I'm not defending that. I'm not defending him. I'm just saying that we don't know the ins and outs of it. He is clearly dodgy. Um, the admission track is... Very dodgy. The, the admission track is silly. I personally try not to listen to his music anymore because now I just feel he's talking about kids. Mm. Um, so I can't I listen to you. Pump and Grind. and I'll listen to like his, his, uh, his gospel stuff. Like if a gospel song comes on, I'll listen to it. Well, that's, like, that's like the devil singing in church. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, the mate, the devil know. sings good. The devil sings... I mean, I don't understand why he's still relevant, to be honest. Hey. Okay, yeah. but like, he's relevant because he's given the culture so much good music, got, which is why then, he's relevant. But then, like, he might not be releasing good music. But he's given you so much good music. But then, when you hear it now, you're kind of like, Ooh. yeah. But but I haven't said that. Still I haven't said that. When you're in the club and the ignition comes on, no one, no one stops dancing or singing or whatever. Let's be honest. That's true. That's true. So, no, but only for a few of these songs now. When I when I, when I was when I was in Miami, we were going to to the beach, and we were in this sort of free bus tram thing and the bus driver this lady was blasting out R. Kelly do you know what I mean mm. so people still like R. Kelly regardless of what he's being accused of mm. they yeah. still like him um, look we have to just say innocent until and, and proven guilty really but then like there's been enough no, evidence yeah, yeah but you have to you just pay people off you have to no but in he's the state, broke if you got enough money like, why, why do you think he broke he's broke Man, I've been paying people off, isn't it? He says exactly. he hasn't. He says that he's in the song. That's part of what I read. The song says his lawyer said, pay them off. And he said, nah. No, but he did it with the, the chick that appeared in the video, didn't it? That's why he disappeared. I don't know. Don't know about that one. But, but either way, loads <clears> of people <throat> pay people off. Yeah. But on the subject of music real quick. I listened, I listened to your, Which your, one your playlist. Oh, right. Okay. I forgot. The, 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 the Scorpion playlist. Okay, go on. <laughs> I think if we just released that, I would have liked it more. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was much better listening to what? I mean, it was like 14 tracks, 15 14 tracks. 14 tracks, yeah, yeah. Rather than 22, 4. Yeah, but double albums are always... I'll tell you what, on the subject of music and R. Kelly. R. Kelly's probably one of the best double albums I've heard, which is, it was released in like 95, 96. Like, that's really good, but it's really, it's really difficult mm. to do that very well. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Especially now. But I, th- no, I think, honestly... It, that, that those fourteen, I could I could listen to and not feel like I'm being bored. Yeah, and I think I picked the four the fourteen ways rapping the most as well. Oh, that probably helped. And there wasn't like a lot of singing. There. Well, I don't I don't mind the singing to be honest. Yeah, but even I think that's that Drake the rapper is better. Sometimes, than yeah, he he does go overboard with the singing. Mm, yeah. I mean, a double album of Drake is just fuck me. You know, I think a double album of anybody now is going to be like that though. To be honest, I mean, um, there's just too much music out there. Yeah, but everyone's really seeing big albums. Mm. Like it's, but to be fair on Drake, he has released big albums most of his career. Mm. It's just that this time he split them into two. Like I think Views was twenty songs, mm. and then what was that? More life or more? More life was was eighteen <laughs> songs. Yeah, that's 
Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. So, so more life was eighteen songs. Uh, I think the shortest one was nothing was the same, which was like twelve or thirteen tracks. But even take care, which some people say could be his his classic, is like seventeen tracks. Mm. So it's not like he's ever been one to release but short I, albums. But even though I just think like you can't do. No, I think you that the do. problem is that he packaged it as a double album. Had he just said, "Look, I'm going to release these two these, different these, projects, or two, two different projects, or I'm going to release this one big twenty track album, and then maybe oh, here's five bonus tracks." Nobody would have said, "Oh, it's, it's double mm. album. It's too long." No, it's but just, it's I just, just, I just think it's a double album because, like, I was going to say, like, for example, like, um, when you had the twenty twenty experience, right? Mm. The two albums by themselves like, are they're both good albums. There's there's tracks on that you say that. Legitimately good tracks. If he released all of them under one album, it would have been too much. It would have been too much. Yeah. So I think people just don't have the attention span for that these days. You have to break, even if you give it to them at the same time, but break it up into two separate projects. They feel like they're listening to two separate things rather than one entire body. So they find it a bit more digestible. Well, I, I, because there's there's a line in uh, uh, in Scorpion where he says something about I gave them two two four four in like in Les Chapelle or something like that. Mm. Or something like that and um, he says that he's at the deal now so mm. I think maybe he had to give cash money two albums I don't know if if releasing a double album counts mm. for two albums would that count for two albums? Nah, no, 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 no. it would count as one album right? it would count as one if it yeah. was I don't know then if maybe maybe his contract says he needs to release a certain number of, of songs and then he can get out yeah because mm. it says that now I'm out well, he's still under them he's, he's finished now so Scorpion was the last one now so now he's, he's a free agent, which is why they're saying... He's just doing his own now, yeah? Mm-hmm. Which is why he he's thinks he should that bar that I'm, I'm giving him two, two for 40, like, like, like in the show. But mm-hmm. if he's getting 40 million for two, for two albums from God knows who, that's ridiculous in this day and age. Because mm-hmm. it's not like they actually sell... He got given 40 mil for Scorpion. No, no, I don't know if it's for Scorpion right, yeah, or if it's for his future albums. But he, he, he does say that. So uh, I won't say that he's, he's not bad, though. No, he's not even bad. Lyric. I, no, I mean... What I mean by that is more like, there's a few little bars in there, you're like, okay. I, I well, like he, he just drops like punch punchlines, isn't it? Yeah, he's, yeah. Never got, he's, not, he's not Kendrick. Nah, nah. Like, Kendrick's going to make you think a little bit, which is why I can't listen to Kendrick mm. too much, because, like, I don't have to stop and mm. rewind. Oh, what did he say there? I can't be asked for that. Mm. Um, but he's always going to give you, like, a, a bar here and there that's going to become, like, a meme or something mm. like that, which is why I think it's fun, anyway, yeah, to no, listen to. It's not bad. Not yeah, to yeah, shoot yeah. anyone's bubble, though, but let's not forget he still didn't reply to Pusher. Full. A mm. full proper one track reply. And nobody cares. It's not. I, I, that nobody I cares. Care. I, I care. care. I think you might be the only one in the world I that cares. I care, man. No one cares. You might be the only what one What he did to me. Do you know what I mean? But nobody cares. I wanted cares. to see the set. I wanted him to come. But nobody cares. Okay, but this is the thing here. Like, me is somebody that almost has oh. to reply because of the world he's in. Drake is not in that world, so he doesn't need to. He can fire shots. I just lyrically, I wanted to see. I wanted to see what Drake had. Yeah, but look, the Duppy free, freestyle lyrically was not a bad freestyle full stop. But it was a freestyle. No, that's another argument. Mm. But it was mm-hmm. not a bad free, freestyle. I don't, no, 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 no. I like so, that. So, then. so, so lyric, Yeah, but then the. But what I was trying to tell you one time in a conversation is that the two different types of of diss tracks. One is just. Insults, mm. essentially. One is just insults, essentially. Well, Drake isn't, so you can like prefer p- p- push your teeth if you like. But for me, it's like that's just like an insult. There's nothing like it's just like gossip. It's like I'm reading, you know, uh, T T M Z. That's what that's that's, 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 that's how the old. Yeah, that's how the old. Exactly, exactly. But that's cool. And I'm not saying I prefer Pusher because yeah. Drake ain't replied. See, if but Drake the thing replies, is, but I might prefer Drake. But he he doesn't need to reply. No, because no, he, he doesn't. doesn't need he to. Doesn't, he doesn't, of course he doesn't. And the right thing is to not reply. But I, being a greedy cunt, want him. <laughs> I mean, to it reply. would be nice if he would reply. But uh, yeah, he's at a point like, like I say, you can come out and say whatever you want about him. But the guy's bulletproof. There's very little he could do now that could derail his career or make people look at him in a different light. Like everyone came out with this whole, you know, the whole thing about having a secret child. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's turned that shit around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that one bar in Scorpion way, I don't know how it goes, but everyone's like, Oh, oh. What about, I'm not hiding the, my kids from the world. I'm I'm from the world. I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, That's yeah, just yeah, brilliant. Yeah. You know it's bullshit. No, 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 but it's yeah, brilliant. Yeah. That, that one line just like, uh, it's sort of like, 
covered his L. Like, I know that for a lot of hardcore fans who are all about the lyrics or whatever, it, it hasn't. But for the mid- the thing is, no, it was a good. It was a good, good, I think, it was a good line. Yeah, I think. Look, I think the thing we need to realize is that he isn't a hip hop star. He's not. He's he's, he's tra- transcended that completely. He's a he's new a, form of hip hop. Yeah, basically. he's this. He's a pop star. He is he's in a, a, star. a certain hip hop. We call it. Yeah, yeah. hip hop. He, yeah. he is a pop star. He's he's in certain levels on the same level as Beyonce really you can release whatever and the whole world is going to consume it yeah. stop. so so yeah you know maybe the the old heads you guys want to hear if, well, I'm, I'm an old head too because I'm young mm. but you know what I mean <laughs> in taste yeah. um, in taste saying. like you guys want to like hear a, a rebuttal but he doesn't need to I don't, I don't see the thing is that I don't need it if it came out great I'll listen for it yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not listening for Drake anyway my, my thing is we're like if it don't come out within a couple of weeks, don't bother. Don't yeah, bother. I'm not listening. Yeah, but you see, and then look, and this is where I think he sort of created the downfall because if I hear in, in, in a couple of weeks, did Nas and Jay Z reply to each other within a couple of weeks? Did Big and Pop reply to each other within a couple of weeks? No, they, they replied Dra- quick. Drake, Drake, Drake created this new timeline. That says if you don't reply, nah, 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 created the environment yes no. he's replied quick I think, yes, I yeah, think he but created it with, with, with the but anyone replied it has to yeah, reply but, but, yeah, but what media. I'm saying is that he, before before the Drake and Mick Mill beef if nobody was, was replying within 40 hours of what but was there wasn't so, so what I'm saying no. is that the reason why we think he flopped is because he created a timeline that then like Remy Ma did, did, did as well after that that was thing that everybody has, has to well, do well yeah because the thing is you got, you, no, you have to prove yourself in, yeah. in terms of like yeah but what I'm saying is that in a sense he created that time no but, but I have to agree with Juanito here because back in the, the days of like Puck and B you know back at each other and Nas and Jay you, know, you, had, you had to create and create a track get it okay, recorded in press I'm... and then send it to the radio stations that yeah, doesn't but, take but you two days it, yeah, but what I'm st- but either way, what I'm saying is that it would still well, take a bit weeks, long, and, and and a lot of them would reply in albums instead, mm-hmm. right? So what I'm saying is that we've gone from saying as long as we get a reply in like an album or whatever, we're we're, we're good to like saying oh if he, if he hasn't replied in two weeks, it's I don't want to mm-hmm. hear it. So what I'm trying to say is that in a sense, the way that he replied to Mick Mill has created a new sort of timeline that we're saying if you don't do this by this time, mm-hmm. it's rubbish. But before we were, we were happy with waiting a few months for it. I think a couple. I think a couple of weeks is reasonable in the technology age that we live in. Yeah, but the thing like, is, you shouldn't yeah. have to. Yeah, I mean, if the he, thing is, the want... thing is, if you don't reply quick, this is how I see. It. If you don't reply quick nowadays because of the media, or because there, there's the <laughs> public, the public will so say, what, "Oh, okay. you've lost so your so opinion." Asking, public opinion. So what I'm asking is, is before Drake replied to Meek, yeah, where was? Because maybe I just don't know. What was the other big beef that we saw where there was a reply of within a week? What big beefs were there? So, but even, like, even before, before some things, even thinking, before that, because... The Jane, the, Jane, the Jane Nars, then you got afterwards the whole 50 and Slim Shady with murder and the yeah. Jarl, the whole murder beef. Yeah. And then since then, proper beefs. I still love that. Lyrical beefs. That I, isn't I, really... I still love that, um, that little clip from... Which is... I can't remember what it was. Do you have, um... Oh, man, it's one of the MTV shows where they had Paxton on there and they had Ja Rule. People always like to say, you know, Ja, yeah, Ja got killed by 50 Ja, he lost the beef, he got destroyed. People seem to forget 50 came out with, with How to Rob, mm-hmm. was the record. Yep. Mm-hmm. I have dreams of fucking the R&B bitch, but I wake up early and bounce with all the shit. Then he came out with Murder, I Don't Believe You. Yep. Me murder, I don't believe you murder, fuck around and leave you murder. We never heard of him no more. Little nigga named Jai think he lied like me. Talking about he left the hospital and took nine like me. You pretended to be pop, you pretended to be hot, but you're not. Say the wrong shit out your mouth, motherfucker. I ruined your motherfucking career. I smell pussy. Is that you, Jai? So keep running your yap till your frame is mangled. Three hoes in a nigga look like Charlie's Angels, not a murderer. Ha <laughs> ha. You said you a gangster, but you never pop nothing. You said you a wankster, and you need to stop fronting. Never poke nothing, never pop nothing, nigga, stop fronting. 
Jay put you on X made you hot. Now you running around like you some big shot. <laughs> Round one goes to me. You know what I'm saying? Not really. But I do think it's um it's a little bit maybe it's, it's to do with the whole ghostwriting thing. Because everyone assumes if you take longer than two weeks, you've got someone to write your own life for you. Again, but this is what and and now that sort of he mentioned that before this sort of Mick Mill Drake beef, there wasn't really any major ones. It goes to show again that because you replied so quick and nobody was a expecting it from from Drake to to sort of come so quick and b nobody was expecting a reply that quickly, is that he in a sense created a new mm. time timeline because we we've, we've just said before this Mick Mill and Drake beef there wasn't any other major beef mm. right that that we can remember since. Jaru and and uh, think, and yeah. fifty, right? So what I am saying is, and there's not me being a fanboy. We say actually, he did something that wasn't common in replying mm. so quickly. Yeah, no, and now he it, yeah. has set a timeline for everybody that if you don't reply within two days, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. I don't like Drake normally. <clears throat> as 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 a rule of thumb, I don't like the guy. Do you know what I mean? But, 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 it just sounds silly. Like, yeah, you can't start as a rule of thumb, I don't like someone. No, no, no. Yeah, I can. Because normally, there's rapper, there's people I don't like, artists I don't tend to like. But as a Drake, rule of thumb. Drake. Well, let's say what you, is this rule of thumb? Let's say that you say it as like... Well, I don't know. No, no, no. Not, 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 no, it would be like, that. for example, like, as a, as a rule of thumb, I don't like country and western music. Yeah. But that's just ignorant. Why? Because what? how can you just say, I don't like country western music? Because like, yeah, if you don't like the, just like, yeah. the vibe or the theme of the music, then Nobody, you, can, then then you, you can always find exceptions and be proved wrong about yeah, it. Like, but on the whole, you're not going to check for it because it's not something you re-listen to. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm sure you don't check for Britney Spears tracks. No, but you can say that it's, it's not something I check for or as a rule of thumb, I don't like, yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can say I don't really check for country and western, but there's some... That no, no, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. There's, there's some yeah. stuff. Like, but that's a different way of saying the same thing, though. Yeah, basically. Nah, yeah, because Drake, oi, oi. Yeah. Drake has got some tunes. Hmm. I don't, you know what I mean? But he has got some tunes. He's a performer. And he can rap. Like he mm. can rap. When he comes hard, he comes hard. That's what the girl said. So. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But. Do you, do you, do you, the, other day, <laughs> <laughs> the other day, I was watching. Um, Fat Joe being interviewed on uh, Fat Joe's got uh, slimmer. Uh, Yo, trust me, we got we got we got intermediate Joe. And, uh, and, uh, and you know, Funk Flex kind of hates Drake, mm. like he despises Drake. So they were going through the top five of every era, and then they're running out of time. So Funk Flex goes, "Give me the top five of now." So he said, "You know, Fat Joe says J Cole, Kendrick, Drake," and then Funk Flex looks at him and says, "Flex, don't do that." Like Bar wise. Bars wise. Drake. Drake is nice. Don't do that, Flex. Drake is dumb. Don't do that. <laughs> Flex, don't do that. <laughs> that boy is nice. <laughs> that boy is nice. <laughs> it's like, so that's what I mean. Like, Flex, is a hater. Flex just hates yeah, Drake yeah. as a rule of thumb. Yeah. yeah. She just, so that's what you can't say that. Someone that just hates someone as a rule of thumb is just, they don't care what he releases. It can be straight fire. But hate is an initial reaction, yeah. which is not a good thing, to yeah. be fair. Yeah. I, you can that, say, that I don't check it. for Drake is not that my style. That's all right. Do you know mm. what I mean? It's like, you know, if, if Pun was alive now, I would not check for Big Pun because that's not my style. Do you mm. know what I mean? So, Big Pun, I don't, I don't, I don't, he'd be killing I don't, I don't check for, one in the world. I don't check for uh, Skepta or what are these, these other guys? Like the great, like, um, Stormzy and so on. Yeah, I, I don't check for any of them because it's not my style. But if I come across a tune... I might like it and listen to it. What? Double check in. We got to talk about this um, Netflix TV series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. This yeah. one? Um, it's not actually out yet, but it is called. What's the trailer? We've got a trailer for it. My name is Patty. High school was a nightmare. Patty Patty's huge. While my classmates were out losing their virginity, I was at home stuffing another hole. It smells like bacon. <laughs> Every day I wondered, how much more of this can I take? Then it hit me. Now what? Where's Patty? Right here. Look! Patty's hot! Having my jaw wired shut lost me more than just my summer vacation. So the idea is that she becomes skinny after this punch where her mouth is wide shut for the whole summer. And... <laughs> yeah, I could do with that, right? And, 
and um, she seeks revenge. So there was an article, was it on The Guardian that I sent you? I think it was something like that, yeah. The Guardian uh, saying that Netflix, please don't do this. This is fat shaming. Essentially. Um, is it fat shaming from what you've seen? No, it's revenge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, so I think I the, the issue they have with it is they're saying like it promotes a lot of ideas that um, people who are overweight can't be confident in themselves. So like she wasn't able to do anything that she'd done. First of all, people who are overweight was, generally aren't confident in themselves. But the menta- can I just say the mentality like. of this show, personally, from just this trailer, I think it's like a 90s, early thousands mentality. Yeah. Like now... I don't know. I've not been to school in a mm. long in a long time, but I'm think like fat people now. Do you know what I mean? Like being fat now, it's not what it was being fat in the nineties. Well, because it's a I mean, I don't know. People, I, 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 would, I, would, I would have a fat. I have a fat in the nineties, so you know, I, I can't come into that. Mm. I've been fat years. <laughs> but, but what I will say is, look, high school is cruel. Full mm. stop. It doesn't matter. It's American high school, UK. It's cruel. So you can't do a high school show where your main character's fat and then act like I mean I understand that they're trying to say oh why is it that you know she only became skinny and popular after because you know because her mouth was taped shut I don't know, I mean, I think it was more the case that it was like her kind of um, her confidence in herself and her ability to be more assertive only took place after she dropped the weight and became because more, losing weight more, can more, make but, you feel confident when you can fit into things that you couldn't fit before, mm. just come on. See now, this is see this is the thing. Like why I keep I keep going back to it and saying it again and again. Right, and you probably heard me say it on this podcast a few times. But excuse me, what is wrong with fat shaming? Realistically speaking, what is wrong with it? We live in a time now where there are more and more people that are overweight. You have all these statistics telling you that it's putting stress on the NHS and putting stress on healthcare and so on and so forth, right? But we've got to tell all these fat people that they look beautiful and they're amazing. You can't tell them, like, you know that's actually bad for your health. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, can't, you can't have... But the them... compliments are appreciated sometimes, you know? No, but look, there's a difference between being a little bit overweight, right? And then someone being clearly overweight to the point where it could be detrimental to your health. And all you're getting is women, particularly women nowadays, gassing each other up Oh, you look so good, babes. Don't worry about anything else. Don't have to worry about what people say. It's um, not about how, how you look. It's about how you feel. And I'm like, cool. Walk up a flight of stairs and tell me how you feel, isn't it? Health-wise, no, no, no. Health, health-wise, you've got a point. Because how many people, let's be honest, how many people have days off sick, yeah, due to their weight? A lot, because they've got health problems. I know this. Really? It, yeah. Yo, I work with some big people. <laughs> you know what I mean? And trust me, that sometimes because they've got health issues, yeah, so they're, mm. they're off sick. But it's self inflicted. You know how some places yeah. might not pay you if you can't get into work because you go and play football on a Sunday and you break your leg. Yeah. And you fuck, but that's your own. You work, Some places won't pay you for that. No, if, so if even you're though it's something sick, that could argue, argue keep you healthy and keep yeah, you fit. But you've done an outside activity, which is it's not like it's a car accident. Mm. It's you've gone out there, you've played football, you've broken your leg. And there's some employers that are like, well, you don't get paid. You've made your own injury. This is, mm. you know what I mean? And they'll look to put you on some sort of sickness policy or something. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same for her, but they, you can't do it. Like, you know, even though they're sick because of their own, because like they're the, eating stuffed donuts every day. Mm. And don't get me wrong, I eat, do you know what I mean? I can't walk up a flight of stairs. Boy, I t- <laughs> trust me, I need to, trust me, I need, to have a break, I need to have a break on each floor. Nah, but do you know what I mean? It's the thing is, like, I understand that we do have a... It, although it's not as bad, I, I will still maintain this, it's not as bad as it was when we were in high school, right? Well, like, I don't think so, no. Quick, quick, think quick, little, quick little, little kind of side story on that. So, uh, do, you remember, do you remember, so you went, you went to Augustine's, do you remember Mr. No. One of the sports teachers. Yeah, maybe, yeah. So he, he retired this year, and Okay. After, how long did he say he was there? 40 years at the same school. So man, I was like, That's that old dude that you went to the retirement thing? Yeah, yeah. So okay. he, he retired this year, yeah? So I was talking to him for a little bit. I was talking to some of the other um, teachers. And one of, the, one of the other guys that's already retired a couple of years back, um, one of the math teachers. Um, Arrest. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. So he, he, he retired. So I'm talking to him for a little bit. And I'm like, is it easier now? Or... Back then, like what, what's like the differences, like because obviously you're curious. Yeah. 
And he, he, he stone faced was like, I have to give it to you, though. He goes, you kids have character in it. These kids don't have any kind of character. They all just kind of follow one little yeah. thing. Like, you guys were individuals. You all had your own personality. You all had a strong will. He's like, these kids don't have that. Everything's too protected and too soft for them. And this is the thing, like, when it comes to this whole idea of, you know, everybody is beautiful, um, doesn't matter what your size is, what your shape is, you're all still beautiful, you're all still worth whatever. Like, you should never take away from your sense of self-worth, definitely not. Yeah. 100%. And I, I look, anybody think, can be creative think, and be beautiful. I do think that the, the slight issue with the statement there's nothing wrong with fat shaming is that you should never make anyone feel ashamed, obviously. This, this, for anything, but, for yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. But there's nothing wrong with highlighting if there's an issue. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I, I don't see the problem in that. I just think, sort of, as you were mentioning there, society is so protected. I, I know people were complaining about friends. Mm. Like there were certain yeah, things yeah. friends that the new generation were finding offensive. There's a lot of things that Yeah, because I know uh, friends what, are... Friends are in the TV Friends are the TV, TV show. Show. Yeah. Rachel and... Yeah, 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 yeah. the new generation yeah. was saying it, um, it was fat shaming, it was homophobic, yeah. it was sexist, yeah. it was um, Lord. a whole bunch of things. Oh, yeah. So, so which should never make someone feel ashamed for certain things. But at the same time, there's got to be a point in time where you can say something to somebody in a way that it's allows funny. them to understand there's an issue. Because, I mean, like, if you've got someone in your family who's... Look, there's a difference between overweight and dangerously overweight, for example, right? Are you supposed to just sit and just allow them to carry on doing what they're doing and not try and help them? We're not allowed to, to say them? anything these days, though. And this is, this is the problem. Like, why are you not allowed to say anything? It's actually, there was a, there's a study that they did in a university in America, right? Where they were looking at the effects of this whole kind of like body positivity wave where you can't make any comments about people's weight. And if they're like a certain weight, you can't say, oh, you don't look good or things along those lines. So that like, everybody's beautiful. Everybody's shape is acceptable. And basically what they found out was, um, based off of that movement, a larger percentage of people now don't look to do anything about their weight problem. No. So like, if you're overweight and you have a, and you have a problem, you have an issue, because the whole world is telling you you're fine as you are, you're beautiful, you don't have to do anything, they don't look to improve their health. Look, there are... So you're smart look, people. Everybody's beautiful to someone. There are people out there that prefer mm. the voluptuousness of of, of a <coughs> rotund. However, <laughs> it doesn't mean that it's it's all right for them to be pudgy because it's not healthy. No, you should you should never go. Like, I'm not gonna go up with someone on the street and make a comment about them. There's decency. That's the same way you wouldn't say something about somebody if you know they had like a disability of some kind or something. Like, you're not gonna yeah. say certain things, but it's just the fact is you can't exclude people from saying things that you might not want to hear because you feel bad about it. As long as it's not done in a bullying no, way. I, yeah, I, exactly. I, yeah, There's nothing I, wrong with saying, you know, but the, the truth or, but or the, your opinion on it. Yeah, I think, as we, I've just been saying, and this reminds me of a, uh, a section of Chris Rock's last a stand-up where he said, We need bullies. That's how Trump became president. That's exactly what happened. We got rid of bullies. A real bully showed up, and nobody knew how to handle it. Um, we almost need people to be bullies in life because it, it sort of creates a character. Do you know what I mean? If you go through life and you've had not one single person that's been difficult to deal with, or, mm. or let's say a borderline bully, as he kind of said, then when a bully comes along, like Trump, you don't know what the fuck to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you're used to everything being nice and politically correct. And then when somebody comes and, he, and they're just like, rah, 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 we're like, fuck, what, what, what do we do now? We're not, we're not prepared. So I think, I'm not saying people should, should go out there and bully others, obviously. But what I'm saying is that having bullies in, in life or, or, or um, having comments that are not necessarily nice, towards you it's just part of life mm. you just have to bloody de deal with it it's like we don't want anybody to deal with anything nowadays we're trying to sort no. of uh, put them in this cocoon of, of perfectness um, feminist again feminist again we have to right. give them a little shout out but um you shouting out this week I'm not out. I it's it always got a feminist to shout out you know? no it wasn't a feminist actually it was just like a post that someone put up um, okay. someone was away on a on a hen weekend didn't it? okay and one of the instagram stories was 
Like, yeah, you can do like little polls. So, which one would you prefer? Those so stupid ass polls. Stupid polls. Not the questions. Polls. Yeah. Oh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but, which, by the way, Instagram. I still haven't got questions on my fucking fitness account. Like, the it one account I want it for. It don't matter because those questions are for like, dickheads. Straight. No, but if I put up a, if I put up a question, narcissistic thing, dickheads. <laughs> If I put up a uh, ask me a question thing on my fitness page, you can ask me a question about fitness. Dang That's my it. point. But <laughs> basically, so someone put up a poll, right, for this hen weekend. She's a dickhead. <laughs> nice, we know her, so she's not. She's not oh, so who is it? Oh, shout out. It was Kerry, innit? Oh, sorry. <laughs> What's up, Kerry? Sorry. You know we love you. But, oh, um, I think I replied to that. So. <laughs> <laughs> dickhead, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, so basically the options were um, oh, ha- to, uh, help us decide what, what the... Oh, pinch! The, oh, yeah! It was, it was either yeah. fake an orgasm for, and get marks out of 10 <laughs> or run around and pinch as many random guys' asses in the club as you can in Imagine like 60 seconds. This is my point right here. You're basically running around sexually assaulting people in the club. That's... But because it's women doing it, it's cool. If me and you were out on a stag do, yeah, if all of us were out for someone, let's say, who's going to be the first person to get married out of us three, four? You? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, let's just say it's my fucking, my, my stag do, right? And you put up a thing saying, oh, there's how many asses you can pinch in, however long or whatever. I'm getting thrown out of the club doing that. I'm basically being called... Oh, oh you'll be... you'll be. Police will speak to you, but then... Exactly. I'm, I'm being called a, you know, a fucking rapist or a sexual assault or some shit and realistically speaking that's pretty good that's true yeah but, well it's sexual assault it's sexual assault but on the flip side women can happily post up shit and then later on post a video of her running around grabbing all the different guys asses and it's calm and everyone's laughing and joking did you uh, did you profess your uh, discomfort with this too I literally sent a message saying so you're out here sexually assaulting guys <laughs> um, I got no response okay. <laughs> so can't it. Like, Jeez! Oh, respond! Respond to that! Yeah, actually, if you haven't responded in two weeks, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> two weeks is the minimum, is the maximum, alright? But, but that's the thing, it's like, imagine on the flip side, if that if that was a guy grabbing her ass, or her friend's ass who's just recently been married. Karen, I don't to answer for me. You know what I'm saying? Though? I don't like, I remember, but now you have forgot about this. I didn't think this is wrong, but, but the thing I is, still did uh, say, pinch. just pinch. <laughs> pinch. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason for that being it's a, it's a response to the complete extreme that guys have been doing for so long in terms of their behaviour and their willingness to sexually assault people in very like trivial sort of ways so now you've got women that's feeling like oh we want to be more treated as equal we can do what guys can do so they now go out and do things that guys are doing not realising it also contradicts the things that they want to stop guys from doing to them in the first place yeah so but balance, I, think, I mean is, I, get, I, I think nowadays you it would be considered sexual assault if you went around pinching pinch chicks. I think when we were 18, 19, 20, it wouldn't be considered sexual assault. Wouldn't have been. I don't think so. Probably not. But then didn't we do it, didn't we? Uh, we weren't that sort of... True, of, we weren't in that group. just yeah. go around we pinching random group. chicks. <laughs> yeah, but no. I know it probably happened. Do you know what I mean? But no, it's just... It's funny just... Boys out there, when you have these um, differences based off of gender, when we're told that there shouldn't be any differences and everyone should be equal. I yeah, but then you get yeah, but then you get to, and I know this is a bit going off topic, but it's just come to my head. It was on the news the other day uh, about what's this new thing about you don't pick your baby's gender. What? It was on the news something that you don't pick your baby's gender now. You let the baby decide. No, I, no, listen, you let the kid. So basically, the kid's gonna come out a boy or a girl, obviously, because it mm. it comes with the apparatus. But it's uh, he, the kid. You wait for the kid to speak, I guess. And it tells you, I want to be a boy. Well, I don't well, know. But you pick your baby. The baby picks its own gender. This is just retarded. I don't get it. Do you know what I mean? And I see people, that people are dressing up their boys in dresses. See, but can I, let me just say that. The reason this is, this is just complete bullshit, right? I'm going to I'm I'm skirt over it quickly, right? But if you're someone that, that really wants to kind of push this idea that there's gender fluidity and people shouldn't have to feel that they fit into a certain box. Cool. All right. But then watch how quickly they decide the opposite way when you've got a child that you don't assign a gender to and they decide, you know what, I'm going to be a woman and they end up being a fucking six foot four, 240 pound rugby guy, player, rugby player yeah. who decides, <gasps> I, want, I want to be a, a professional women's boxer or 
played professional women's sports because I'm, as far as I'm concerned, you should let me choose and I'm a woman. Physically, he's clearly a man, but he identifies as woman internally because that's what you, the choice you let him make. Mm-hmm. Are you going to let him go and do that sport? All of a sudden, mighty quick, I bet you he's a man. Mate, I don't really care. Quick as that. What else? To be well, this is just, it's just not, I don't understand. I, mean, uh, I know it's not the cool thing to say these days and it's like, you can get a lot of heat for it, but I don't understand like how we've got to this point where we are deciding now that, oh, actually, you know, gender isn't this, gender isn't that. Look up the rest of the fucking animal kingdom. Every single freaking creature on this earth falls into male or female by the of asexual species, right? There's no other issues of identity with, with creatures and these kind of things. And I don't get it. I just don't understand. What, why? Why are we deciding we've got to start removing every single category? It's again, it's, it's overreaction. It's mad. That it's woman took that, that woman took the also the passport people, didn't it? Because you can in that you can in the British passport, no some passports you can have whatever you want. Mm. Like you've got three options. But like the British one you can only you got be a three male. options? Yeah. Like undetermined or something like there's, oh, a, actually, few because, um, there's, a, few, there's a few passports in the world where you can be a third option. Instead yeah, of male or female. I actually did just renew my passport the other day and we were going through and it does just say um Gender, male or female. Yeah, so the British one only says male or female. Oh, yeah. And some woman... Because there's only two genders. Hmm. So it shouldn't say any other... uh, It shouldn't give you any any other option. It's undetermined or something. How can you have an undetermined gender? I don't know what... No, no, no. no. How can you have an Hmm. undetermined gender? Biology determines a gender. Yeah. If you then go and you change it, okay, you've changed it, but then then you still are a gender because you've changed it. So then after you've changed it, you, you still are a man or a woman. You cannot be undetermined. Hmm. It's not possible. No, I, yeah, no, I agree. The world's agree. gone mad. Like I say, the, the only time I will sit down and I'll say, fine, you know what? You can have your undetermined gender is when you can also say you can have undetermined um, ethnicity. Which is not possible. Which is not possible, but we're supposed to accept certain changes in people because of what they feel inside, but others we don't. So you've got Rachel Dozier, I go back to her all the time, thinking she's a black woman and getting voted <laughs> up for it. I'm like, yo, she's just trans, she's just um, transracial, isn't it? That's what she is. Yeah. She feels a certain way about it, and yeah. we're supposed to not, not, we're not I supposed mean, to accept it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look, she's clearly a white woman, okay? Mm-hmm. Not clearly, because she can pass off as mixed or something. She, she, can, be, she can, she can. She can. I mean, she passes However, off more mixed than uh, Megan. Yeah. However, mm, I don't know. After that wedding, Megan's looking hella better. But, but um, that preacher boy. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. you can understand that there are certain people that feel uh, more towards a certain culture. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Especially nowadays, where as we sort of say, sort of urban culture has become the popular sort of culture mm. that's taken over in musical films or whatever. People of all sort of uh, ethnicities are growing up with that as mm. a popular thing. So they are, I would say, developing, uh, let's say, speech patterns or traits mm. that used to be considered more for one, let's say, ethnicity. Yeah. So you can you can understand how someone might be thought of or someone might consider themselves uh, that they can relate more to mm. as a certain ethnicity. But even then, you can't say that. They are because again, biology dictates that you were born something. Yeah, but then if they if they change their appearance to to match what they feel, then they, they have plastic look. surgery. It did, but it's the same way as if you change your appearance to be a different gender. So my thing is, but if you're gonna if you're gonna be out here championing that, if you can change your gender, you change your gender. You can change your you can change your race as well, mate. You can't change. Keep, your race. keep the same energy. You can't change your race. Of course you can. No, you can't. You seen you seen that German chick that that. Black she didn't that change thing? her race. She changed no. That's not changing your race. That that's dyeing your skin color. So then is um. That's adding pigmentation. But then, so then is um changing if having the surgery to remove certain sexual organs and put others in is that changing your gender? Yes. How? Because biologically speaking, you're still. Biologically, obviously, that's the you're still a male or you're still a female. Biologically, that's what you are, but you are essentially changing. No, the... you're changing the ornament, but biolog- biologically, you still if you're. Blow, your chromosomes you are still... You, yeah, you can't have a baby. Yeah, okay. No, but because that, but... Because there's still... The argument that is always going to be there are women that can't have babies and they're not women. 
Oh, right. No, but so, but it's just basically, if you look at people yeah, exactly. on a biological chromosome level, they have the makeup of a man. DNA will yeah. tell you they have the makeup of a man. Same way, if you switch your your race, as would be the case in these situations. Look, you DNA, can't switch race. So, it's not even if you can't, if you can switch gender, you can switch race. Because how you feel inside, that's what people say. I'm not gonna into that. It's this. <laughs> All right, so we'll switch it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll switch it one more time. Let's just get past that now. Straight past. I need to get my I need to get. I need to get my 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 roasting equipment out. What's happening now? My roasting equipment. I'm not gonna go roast you. I'm gonna I ain't gonna really roast you. But we all seen this video of Doesn't this um, easily. this McDonald's worker that fucked oh, that right. shit. You remember you saw it, right? Did I? It was in the, the, the group chat on on Insta. So basically this um I don't know what what Oh you know? shit, what? Uh Rakiki versus <laughs> Yes, Rakiki. Yes, yes. That one. <laughs> that one, right? Yeah. So um uh, personally, first of all, I I feel like So I looked at this video and I saw a fight. <laughs> of course, of course, because that's what it was. I saw it was a fight. <laughs> It was a fight, but... Between two women, one big and one small. Big and one big. But, but can we be honest, right? Anytime you, they show these videos of women fighting either in places like that or out in the streets or whatever, frequently titties pop out. <laughs> <laughs> can we be honest for a minute? Like, I'm being honest and I don't see the titties pop out. You don't see it? No. I'm sorry, but you can't not see it. I just, all, I, all I'm There's saying... There's a point you no. see her covering it back up, right in front of the camera. I, I'm not disputing that it happens. Yeah, okay. Ladies do pop out. What I'm saying, I don't, I don't see many girl fights then, maybe. maybe. All, of, all the videos. When I have, I have not seen no teams pop out. Every single so time. So for me, it's like, it's two women fighting, so the one thing... They think I'll say, oh, it's not a girl fight till teams pop out. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a arr, it's not though. Arr, 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 arr. I'm sorry, you know you know you're watching a proper like Girl <laughs> fight because titties pop out. Yes. Yes, because they always the way that, Sexual can we just say girls girls Sexual fight is always more vicious than men's by the way. That, that's that's the is, that, is that how you but, to, to, to balance but, it out? No, because they grab so anything. It's they grab anything. It's okay for me to mention. But regardless, 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 regardless of sexual, position. regardless of that, how is it? How is it objective? Because why do you have to mention that that is not a girl's fight to titties pop out? Because whenever you see girls fighting and it gets to that level, titties pop out. I never said that. I'm. I'm so then, so then, I never said to, I'm, so then you need to have a, a, a similar comment for when you see two guys fight. In fact, but there, there is no. It's not a fight. It's just a fight until the shirts get ripped. There we go. But that's not equivalent. Why not? It's not equivalent. Why not? Shirt, because the shirt can go ripped. Because so it's what? a lack of shirt that exposes the boobs, isn't it? No. But it's regardless of that fact, regardless of that fact, right? Go on. Regardless of that. Go on. You can't be firing shots at me. I didn't fire shots. I made uh, an, an observation. You made an observation. Which you, which you didn't like. And then, and, then, and then when I came back with my own observation, yeah. where which is the first you observation? objectified, I didn't objectify. your response, I, I your response, an your response, right? Yeah. Come on now. What was my response? I don't know. I can't your remember. response, if I remember correctly, oh. was... But if you so if, if you, I can get it for you if you want, <laughs> but if you're wearing something that is clearly too small for you, you're asking for a comment or something along those lines. I mean, I need the exact because otherwise I can't. Yeah, get it. It's still I'm gonna grab, grab it. Otherwise I can't. I'm gonna grab it. I'm grab it now, man. So, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I screenshot it as well, just to make sure I don't have to. Go, go too far. Why am I That's I I did the wrong. Damn. The wrong part, but no, that other part is going to come to you at for a second. Mm. But I mean, if you can get that, that'd be, okay, yeah. that'd be tremendous. But the point being, that comment the point is being rape is culture, blood. <laughs> I mean, how is that rape? I mean, because you're we, you're saying uh, what I'm saying is that if somebody is wearing something that's <laughs> if somebody's wearing something that's very tight and revealing, you're going to make a comment. It's just normal. It, it's not it doesn't mean that it's a sexual comment at all. If I if if I'm if someone is walking down the street and they're wearing jeans that are far too tight, mm. I don't know, fucking hell, those jeans are far too tight. Yeah, but and if it and if those jeans happen to reveal a redeeming quality of that person, I'm saying, oh, nice ass. See, nothing now, wrong with that. The, the thing, the, but the how? But that it's me it's, admiring but, someone's derriere with a re, with reason. With the reason. The same. That's what you say. Yeah. Ain't the same as talking about tears. 
It's not. Or dry hump raping. Yeah. We're, get, we're getting there. We're going to get there. Yeah. No, let's get there. I'm now. saying it's culture. <laughs> because he's, he jumped on to say it's it's rape culture. It's, it's rape culture. That someone had a nice No, box. but it's rape culture. How the hell is that rape culture? No, 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 no. no. You saying, you saying, you saying, you saying someone has a nice ass is not rape culture. It's not rape culture. However, you saying that she was asking to be admired. Of course. Is rape culture. It's not. Asking to be admired. You need to, you need to check. I did not say. You, someone no, needs to check the rape culture no, triangle. No, 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 the no, no. no. When you make I comments, did not say she was I asking don't to be grabbed. Listen. Which is why yes. then I, no, no, I no, no, admired. No. Admired. No, see this, but this no. is where this is where you get. You need to check. No, oh, you, you need to check. check you need to check. What culture means? You need to check. Wait to listen, right? If you make a comment based on someone's appearance, right? Yeah. And saying they deserve that sort of comment because of how they look, that is the first level of rape culture. It's not because you're you're not you're you're asking for. That's that's basically saying she was asking for it. Yes. She, not, she, if she's dressed, if she's dressed in a revealing outfit, if I if I walk out the street. Without a top on, and people start staring and making comments about me not having my top on, I have I have actually sought this attention because if I didn't want any attention, I'd put my fucking top on. See, but now that is what you're calling. But, that's rape culture not, these days. But that's not rape culture. But it's rape, rape culture. Cu- rape it culture, is. as I mentioned, is fake dry hump raping people in carnival and pretend like it's consensual. It's not okay, all. It's not consensual. It's so, not all the time consensual. Um, let me get the sometimes it is. Though. Carnival's just sometimes a Sometimes it's consensual. Carnival is a, it's but I have been present at Carnival and seen that sometimes it's not consensual. So he can't. He cannot tell me that uh, for for the three days it's always consensual because I've seen man, gra- man, see woman yeah, no, cross no, okay, pass by not, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. group that he stands in, yeah. grab her and then just yeah, pass by. That's not consensual. It's not consensual. Can I say something? Yeah, but a lot of the time in those situations, sometimes it is. That it is consensual, but sometimes when it's not consensual. That bird was going over there with some consensuality no, in the head. No, no. She was just grabbing the right, wrong man. That's she right, wasn't that's, no, that's that's red culture. No, she wanted the next man to grab her. No, because but she was going by the wrong one. Because then what you're saying, saying is that regard, regardless she wants someone to grab her, maybe she doesn't. No, she was going over the boot no, wanting you, to be grabbed. You, you won't know that. You can't know that because you're. But you can there. tell by her face. No, you, you, but then, so you're kind of defending my argument. I'm saying that if someone walks out in the street with a with a tie outfit that is revealing parts that shouldn't be revealed, they clearly. But well, they should I, be revealed. Right, maybe, 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 maybe they just right, feel so, so, you're, so you kind of what maybe I'm they just feel comfortable in the outfit. outfit. Okay, but it's still it's still showing something. Yeah, but so that, that doesn't invite still, comment. Still, it will invite a comment. But then the point is, mean. in the society we live in now, that's seen as rape it's culture. It's not rape culture for me. What, rape the way someone presents themselves should not no, give any no, no, indication no, no, no. of what their rape intention is. Rape culture can, does not have anything to do, to do with it with a comment. It has mm. something to do with actions. And that, but, no, but see, this no. is the thing. It's not all actions now. It, it, it is actions. are actions. But, that, but, that's, but those are the lines that, that people are trying to, to, to draw up. Yeah. So but that's not real. No, no what I'm saying is, okay, so the difference is actions. If I'm just making a comment, that's not rape culture. I don't, I look, I don't think it should be classed yeah. as that, but it is classed. But it's as that. it's not classed. It's, like, it's not classed like, regardless. It can't be. Red culture is, is actions. For example, if we're in a house party mm-hmm. and a chick is drunk, and you're getting yourself in bed with a drunk chick that can't do nothing, mm-hmm. and you're trying to, and you're trying to make something happen, that's red culture. Mm-hmm. That's when it's red culture. Because that's it. Yeah, that's, no, that's, that's when it's okay. Again, 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 if I'm at the part, if, I'm at, if I'm at that same party, yeah, and there's a perfectly sober girl. Who's got on a mini skirt and a very revealing shirt, and you can see her cleavage and so on. And I go up to her and say, "I would love to stick my dick between those those titties." Yeah, that's think, that's inappropriate, it's but inappro- it's not red culture to me. Now, if if someone comes to you, if, I, if someone, I'm telling you as my boy, no, but if someone comes culture, to me, that's just bad. If someone comes to me <laughs> and says you shouldn't say that, and I'm like. Look what she's wearing, and someone else goes, "Yeah, you can't wear." Yeah, that. but obviously, that's obviously, rape culture because you're you're no, feeding into not, the same it's not, idea. It's not for me again. It's not rape culture if you reply like that. It's p- potentially not the politically correct reply. Is is, is what it is. <clears throat> no, because you're but a victim. We, yeah, name it. yeah, but not because she's not a victim. First of all, she's a victim of an no, unwanted comment. No, she's no victim of an unwanted comment. In my in my belief, it's not. See, so that, so that in my it. belief, it's not. Like if you walk out in those. Leggings that you man training or whatever you call it, right? Just that, and Which I never do. yeah. But if you do, because because a lot of, of people, right. a lot a lot of people do, and people start making comments about saying things mm-hmm. that they shouldn't otherwise. Mm-hmm. You knew that 
Because you looked in the mirror before you left your house. Yeah. So you, when you look in the mirror, know everything that people are going to see. So if people are going, going to make a comment, you know those comments are forthcoming. That's not, that's not, I'm not saying that you're sort of asking for it, but you are aware that it's that a possibility. That's all I'm saying. If you are putting yourself on camera and then you see what you're wearing, your man sees what you're wearing, you can see it's revealing. I wasn't the only one that saw that she had a nice ass. Everybody there saw it. I just the one that said it, right? It came and, yeah, it was nice. yeah. And then, and then <laughs> you, and, then Actually, you okay. and your man decide to upload it. You know what everybody's going to see. Mm. So therefore, you know that these comments are going to be forthcoming. But That's all I'm saying. Is, but it could maybe be, they didn't know. It, of course they did. It could be impolitically correct to um, say it, which I, I don't mm. disagree, but it's not rape culture. Rape culture the whole has to rape do more action. The whole rape culture needs to be redone. The whole rape thing needs to be re-looked at. But it's always the women, the victims. I mean, because most of the time they are. You know what I mean? Most of the time they are. I mean, yeah, but women, yeah, of course, of course. But women can take a drunk guy to bed. I mean, she might not get a lot back. I'm not going to get into this. I I don't believe that guys can be raped, okay? But I'm not going to get into it. I just don't. Unless they get raped at the bum, I don't think that guy can be raped. A woman cannot just rape them. But I'm going to lock her and banter the rape culture pyramid. That's not, that's not, that's not. Rape culture culture pyramid, bottom corner, lock her and banter. It's not. For me, it's actions, and those aren't actions. For me. Unwanted touch, rape jokes. Yeah, unwanted boys touch, will, yeah. Will be boys. And this, and, sorry, but girls yeah. will be girls running around pinching asses. This is, see, this is the thing. Why boys will be boys? Girls will be girls. So, like, so like, rape jokes, right, apparently are, are part of rape culture, and they're unacceptable. But Rape jokes are unacceptable. But, but I would not say they're part of rape culture. No, but it's, it's all in it. But what I would say is... Who, right, could, but who created the pyramid? I don't know. Exactly. But the, point being, but the point being, like, and this is one of the things that, again, it kind of leads into the hypocrisy. I will put money on damn near every single person that you know, male or female, will have made a rape joke at some point about a man in prison. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Unsolicited dick pics. Yeah, what about unsolicited fanny pics? Do you know what I mean? Why is it always the guys that send up? Do you know what I mean? Guys like, tend to just decide to send them the quick for no reason. Huh? Guys, it, it, that's you know, what, look, all I'm saying. Thing, yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Yo, <laughs> girl, yo <laughs> girls also send, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but sometimes uh, it's like, you know, it's all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, don't get me wrong, guys are the cunts and guys are the guys. It's not all of them, obviously. But so, it does, it does also, but it's just some, you know what I mean? There's a lot of that, like that football thing you sent, bruv. That World Cup thing. Oh, right, yeah. Mm. But it's getting out of hand sometimes, this whole... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it Which is why I'm arguing against this. It's it was like, like equal in one thing. At the end of the day... equal in everything else. At the end of the day, we can't just... It's like the vegans, man. They're coming out in we, storm. We can't just sort of go along with some of these things just for the sake of going on because it says it. Like, I will agree that certain things that guys do is rape culture. It is. Let's not, you know, some of the things that I've seen happen and stuff back in the day, it, it is, it was dodgy. Mm. However, you cannot say that making a comment that was clearly going to be forthcoming. Mm. Clearly, I was not the only person that made it in that whole like thread. Mm. That is not rape culture. No, it might be an inappropriate no, like comment I say, I, I, for twenty eighteen. It's an inappropriate comment. Cool, mm. fantastic. Like, the only reason why they didn't brought carnival because they're trying to bring a red culture. Okay, then now, clearly, now, then clearly, now, now, we talking. If you leave well, your house, okay, so the first oh. guy, the first going to say, I'm not if, saying if that you leave you your house. In no, 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 wait. But I'm saying I've if, seen if it. If you say, and the fact that you're defending if, it, if you're gonna, if you leave your, house, if you leave your house, going to carnival, <laughs> concerning to me, you know what carnival was about. What happened yeah. at carnival, right? So yeah. are you supposed to expect it then? No, 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 I'm, I'm I'm saying, saying, no, no. Carnival is a dance. There's man. plenty but of people that go carnival. What I took exception. Carnival, what I took exception. And, and, nah, Listen, don't try it. I've, I've seen that happen in your group. Rape culture is you every 27th of August. Yes. Me. Yes. You, you, Me. You, 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 you're, so you're this is where I'm taking it. You, you, so when I say <laughs> carnival is all consensual, right? Yeah. I'm talking about me. Oh, fair enough. That's, that's what I'm saying, okay, right? So you can Don't get me wrong. Yourself. I've seen some shit in carnival. Okay, so like, like, but you, you were defending it. So I'm, 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 I'm defending myself. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'm defending myself. Look, I've I thought man was trying to say that carnival was all consensual. Yeah, but you can go wireless. And there's, you know, there's probably a way. No, 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 Oh, but yes, carnival, you know, yeah. carnival has a, a very um. I, I, every, yeah, carnival. There, there's, is, there's a line there that I think needs to be a little bit more distinct because people not. take advantage of it. Yeah, it's not. Definitely, they do, they do, they do. But 
they take advantage of it in a dark club. But Carnival was just an example. But Carnival, you know, Carnival that gives people more. Yeah, it's, and it's during the day, like where everybody can see you behave like this. Mm. Do you know what I mean? What that, that, that's that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Where everyone behaves in a way that they wouldn't otherwise. Because I see, I see too often where people will grab someone's hand and they try to pull the hand away, and they're like, "No, come on, keep trying to pull." The yes. Hand. No. The, the last See? time I went asking this, I said, you know what? I'm never yeah. a feminist. I ain't even a feminist. But come See, on. My now. thing is like, if I... I've seen this... girls trying to like, no, I don't want to. Yes, exactly. you do. Yes, you do. That's wrong. See, if I'm if if I, if I, if I, if I'm holding someone's hand yeah. and they look like, which I don't really do anyway, to be honest. But if, if I'm going to... Because you just look at them, innit? Yeah. <laughs> you've got to look at look. But, um, no, over. but if you just... <laughs> so if I got someone and I'm like... You know, suggesting like a dance, and they like they like no, cool, move on. There's a million people at Carnival Mania. There'll be someone else that is up for the dance, and I'm not trying to get anywhere with it. I'm not trying to progress it to anything other than thirty second wine in the move on. Yeah, but the issue is some people don't want to have that situation, and you do tend to see it forced a little bit more. So there is a there is a we'll say a healthy degree of what could be considered rape culture at Carnival. Very healthy. Yeah. Very, very healthy degree. Very healthy. I mean, I might even go this year just, just to record it. Well, but, uh, Trevor Noah and the whole France thing? What no, we didn't. That? That's yeah, what it was. Why did yeah. he got a whole load of stick? That's he? what it was. He... And we said, let's save it for the podcast. Yes, okay. Okay, go yeah. on. Go on, so, go on. Go on. My thing is just, is just very basic, right? It's not basic, but go on. If you are a comedian and you tell a joke and the joke does not go down well, it went down perfectly well to me. Yeah. It, went, it went down well to you. It, went, it might go down well to you. What, what, he, he spoke the truth. Is, is this the bit where he, where he thinks... See, just let him be offended. Nah, just, this, is, this, is the thing, this is the thing. Like, personally speaking, I'm not really offended one way or the other. Okay. Because I think everyone was making that joke before Trevor Noah made of the course, joke. Of course, of course. Now, there was a degree of, of um, I would say, truth and entitlement to the way he told it as if to say, well, this is the case. It is the case. Loose. Okay. Loose. But the point being... You make your joke. And the thing that we all under, have to understand that we all kind of should know these days especially is I can't expect you to react a certain way to what I say. Yeah. I can't have an expectation that you should understand that this is a joke. Like, there are so many jokes that come around and are made that a lot of people find offensive. But because we don't, we're like, nah, cool, it's alright, it's a joke. And when it comes around something that we're offended by, all of a sudden you shouldn't make that kind of a joke. Like, I saw around um, Halloween... And it's just made me laugh, I ain't gonna lie. But somebody dressed up with a blonde wig and an Everton out, Everton kit on, and said they were going out as Madeleine McCann. Oh, God. <laughs> See? <laughs> Yo, that's yo, bad. yo, bro, it's bad. But that's it's bad, funny. but it's funny because there, there are certain things that I just kind of. Now, the thing is, right? If somebody sees that and is offended by that, that could be a member of a family that isn't one of the two parents that clearly fucked up and lost their child, right? That could be an auntie or her uncle or whoever. Now, they yeah. could be offended by that and they have every right to be offended by that. So the thing that you should do after that is say, do you know what? Number one, it was a joke. If it I'm sure you, he did say it was a no, joke. No, no, this is the thing. He, he opened up with, it was a joke. And then he went on to kind of question France as a nation and the, the history of race and so on and so forth. I'm like, so what you're really trying to do now is make an excuse for why what you said is actually true. So you're taking was, away from it being a joke. He was, he was, he was in, my, in my point of view, he was a bit probably just uh, surprised that the ambassador of France has got nothing but better to do than to send a letter to Trevor Noah about a joke. But then do we not know what French people are like? Which I think... The French, well, the French complain about everything. But, but I think, they, so I they, think they, that, yeah, do you know what? I'm really not sure why the French ambassador in the US has got time to send a letter to Trevor Noah. I'll tell you what, because... Because he's trying to keep with culture. Personally, with like what's going on in the East. Yeah. Personally. It's just, the, the simple thing is that there's a massive history in France of Africans being treated pretty badly mm-hmm. for heritage. Yeah, Even if they've course. been born or raised there, they've been treated pretty badly. From North Africans that you used to tend to find down South to like, obviously I know quite a few people that fall into certain categories and the way they are treated as North Africans when they go to Paris or wherever is pretty, pretty shit. Other than by other North Africans who are of French descent and so on. French are racist. French are quite racist, right? But you can see there's a movement happening to try and get them away from that. 
to the point where the current, yeah, that, the current president was challenging the more right wing people because they were like, she was making this comment about, oh, but you know, they're not really French, like about a certain group of people. And he's like, but why? Oh, you know, because of, because they're not really. He was trying to pin it down to say what you're saying because they're not white, they're not But French. you see, but, but Trevor Noah wasn't disputing that they weren't French. He's, he's, mm. he's, no, he wasn't. He was he the, was, fr- no, he, he was he the first person. Clear, no, he made it clear in, in, in the rebuttal. It, what he was saying was so, that just because they won the World Cup for France does not mean that all of a sudden we should forget that, yes, they are descendants of, of Africans. No, no, no. See, yes, that's, no, what, no, no, that's no, no. what he was saying. Here's the joke. Like, all did of a sudden you, they won the actually, World Cup. Did you watch the and joke? Then, and then, yes, I did. The actual joke. Yes, I when did. When he comes out and he says... But the joke is supposed to no, be but, No, but when that's he... That's the whole no, point. No, no, no. But there's a difference between making a joke and saying, okay, look, Africa won the World Cup, which is what he did. Yes. And then progressing Africa, onwards... It's the second time Africa won the World Cup. No, but then progressing forwards and saying... Oh, the the French will try and tell you that the French won the World Cup, but but it's part of being but, rude and no, offensive. But you don't get that kind of tan in the south of France. Yes, it's so part he, of the joke. regardless of whether or not you think it was part of the joke. Yes. yes, it was part of a joke. But the point being, when you make that comment, you're basically saying you can't be French and look like this. Whether it's in joke or not, that's what you're saying. And we all know what the French like when it comes to being patriotic. Before anything else, you are French. France is the best nation in the world. Yeah, but Everything look, we do is look, amazing. Look, France is France. Look, That's it. Look. So, no, no, wait. No. So, if you are someone that then goes out and says, you can't actually be French because you look like this. Whether or not you say not it, what he was saying. That's what he said that's in the joke. What that's what he said in the joke. That's not what he was saying. You that's don't get a tan like that in the south of France. Look, He's basically taken away from their French identity to, to put on their more personally, African identity. Pers- personally... I, I, that's not how, how I understood it. I just simply understood it as a as a rudish joke, right? That that's that's all that well, I see. The, is, the, the joke the joke merged into a message and into possibly a and personal when, point of and view. What you but have yeah, to remember, potentially, but but what you he, have he's, to but he's on TV to be yeah, but uh, when you he's, hear, he's, when he's, he's on, on TV, but it's a political show as well. Thank you. So it's a political he's show making well. political comments. Yes, as well, of right? course. So you always have to. Yeah, but this is the whole point. So if you're going to make that joke, yeah, the way you made it. Which, regardless of whether or not you intended it as a joke, is calling into question somebody's identity as a French person. You cannot be annoyed when the French ambassador reads into that and is offended and then makes his response. However dumb his response may seem to be, you then either have to say, I was joking, get over it, or you make your point. Now, what he did was start off, oh, it was actually a joke, but we know, like, I'm sorry, but this is what I'm saying. He dropped dropped some, a couple of levels of respect with me personally. Because when you're saying, well, look at this, you know, were you there when this guy, remember the, the guy that came up the building and saved the child? So, you, do you see that? Yeah, but, so, uh, there, but so, the thing is... So this, but his, his comments were, yeah, I know what this African about. person climbed up a building and saved the, saved the child. And, and, they, and they gave him French um, nationality from that. And it's like, so what's the difference between him and the French players? I'm like, well, the French players were all born in France. He was someone that moved there and wants to remain there, but obviously there are processes in every country, regardless of race or colour, that you have to go through before you can become a citizen and have a passport in that country. So, so the, they're so saying the, so to the, him... So the, so the question he's posing is, so if you migrate to... Because we don't know how long that person was in France, okay? Well, the, the, now, the, the guy climbing? Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not just going to take it by what I read in the video. Right? If I wasn't there. But as someone that uh, actually is a child of someone that migrated mm. from Africa and stayed in a, let's say, quote-unquote racist European country for a little while, I know, oh, breaking right. chain, which is, I know how difficult it is going. for them to get pa- papers full, full, full stop. Mm. So the only thing I think that he was trying to highlight is, so does everybody need to save someone of that nation too to become French or Spanish no, see, or Italian? Then, this is it was just though, a right? joke again, which no, I understand. No, he was not. This, he was not making, at this point, he was not making a joke. He was trying to backtrack and make himself not look as... But he didn't look as anything before. If he'd said... He didn't look but, as no, anything see, this before. Is, this is where you're wrong. To me, I don't think he looked as anything. you know, but when you look on Twitter and you see the response of black French people, yeah. white French people, people from all around the world saying, Trevor, you're wrong. You shouldn't be saying this. This takes away from their Frenchness and so on and so forth. The backlash I don't think he took massive. away from... I, personally, I don't think they took away from their Frenchness. Personally, so I don't. you don't think so? No. Because you're not a black French person? No. The people in France who are black and French think it took away from their Frenchness. 
the ambassador of France clearly thought it took away from their Frenchness. And this is the point. If you insult somebody unintentionally or otherwise, and they call you out on it, you either say, look, sorry, it was a joke. If you, mis- if you misunderstood it, I apologise, but it was a joke. You don't then go on to call, call into question the country as a, as, a raci- as a place of racism and so on, which is what he did. So rather than stick to just saying, oops, sorry, my bad, it was a joke, but hey, I thought it was funny, you then go on to a more politically minded reaction, call into question, of oh, what if the guy had dropped the baby, would he have been African again? Probably. What the fuck is it? It's, but it's, it's the honest truth, though. But this is not your... Yeah, but it's just... This but, is he's not, a, but he's entitled to no, make that comment. this is not... This is the thing. He's entitled to make that but, comment. So what you're saying... But what if, he's so saying if that, the guy had dropped the baby, he would not no, have gotten a fresh passport. He would have been the boy. No, but look... Let's be honest about it. it. You're, Come on. At this point, you can you can say that's what you think would happen. That's Maybe. what would have happened. Okay, no, fine. Let's say 100% that's what happened. Man, no, let me know about the point. No, but let's... Okay, but the point is... French. Look, let's say... If that that's the case, hundred percent, you would not have been made French. All you're still doing there is just again showing for me, that just, your point of view is trying to, to and justify. For me, it. I understood that. I personally understood that as uh, what just happens in Europe in general. That's that's how I understood it. Which is why See, so, I, I use I use the argument of uh, Senna, for example, before the Euro two thousand and eight, he was a nationalized player. After Euro 2008, he was the Hispanic Brazilian in the press. I read it. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. The the, the naturalized Brazilian. After Euro 2008, he was a Hispanic Brazilian. That's all. See, but this this is all of this is irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. It's irrelevant because no, no, it's irrelevant. irrelevant. And this is why I'm saying he's dropped down because it's not a smart comment to make. Because at the end of the day, you cannot take what happens in Spain, what happens in Portugal, or Italy, and apply it to France because France is a very different nation. Had their own problems, they have addressed things in different ways. But, way. but his, is the point see... he's trying to make about white white Europe and how and how ethnic minorities fit in Europe. That's that's the oh, overall point that's trying to make. The, what, the point he's making there is incorrect. Then. It's not incorrect. It's incorrect because at the end of the day, you cannot look at Europe as a whole and not look at the different parts and how they work because France look, works very look, differently. Look, obviously, it works very look, differently. You can see from their reaction how it works. Personally, well, personally. I think that institutionalized racism does not work differently anyway. It works exactly the same everywhere. So I do not think that France works differently than Spain, Italy, or the UK when it comes to, to that. But I just think that the point he was, he was trying to make is that obviously, I, I heard him say personally in his rebuttal that obviously they are French. But what he was trying to highlight mm. is that they are African also. Yeah, but the, the, the point is that just because they won the World Cup for, for France, we want to, or the French, want to almost kind of erase that Kante is African as well. Yeah, but see... That Ousmane Dembele is African. See, that but Pogba again, is African. You can say all these things. Of course they're French. Of you can course say all these things. I, I wouldn't say otherwise because I, I no, feel Spanish. So I'm not the whole, one to say that. But the whole point but is, you the, can't only person, that the only well. person that brought into question this situation was but, when he made the joke himself. Yeah, but that's, but that's that because the thing is the thing is he made a joke which was funny, which everyone was talking about yeah. before the World Cup. We were all making the same joke. Yeah, right? okay. England was England was the Caribbean yeah. and France was Africa. Yeah, we, yeah. we were all making a joke. He made a joke, it didn't go down well, and what he did, he dug a little hole for himself instead. Like Quinn says, apologizing and getting yeah, himself out of the hole. I don't think he should have apologized. No, but no, I'm not saying apologize, I'm not saying look that was not my intention. If you got offended, that was not my intention. I thought it was funny. I still, you know what I mean? I, I still, still do. Think, I still but, think it's funny. He went into a history but class. Is, he went into a history talk about, yo, we, we can be here for years about France and their racist mistakes and all this thing. But he he didn't need to bring all that up. It was just the joke. So this Some is people point. got a bit offended, just be like, my bad. But That's I still think point. it's funny. You, you, you either stick I to the line of being a joke or you go with the political side. I know, I personally don't think that he I personally don't think that he should have apologised if it's something that he believes in. Not apologise, but... No, I don't think he needs you're, to. You're not apologising. You're just saying... No, but you're saying... It wasn't my intention. Yeah, but, 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 but if I make a joke, some 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 jokes offend. Full stop. That's it. Okay, you should have to come yeah. back and and and. No, but it's not. But the whole point is that you don't apologize for, for the, the joke. joke. What you said, if, if you were offended, offended, yeah, but clearly he doesn't enough. care if they were, if if he if he cared that they were offended, he wouldn't have sort of added onto it afterwards. So what he did by coming after is okay. You you you're offended. I don't pretty much care. This is what I think. And and what he's trying to say is. 
is that just because they won the World Cup for France, all of a sudden they're sort of just French heroes. See, and just, game, because, but... just because he mentioned that they're African, people got into a hurrah. Because the problem with, with the white French is that they want to forget that these that 80% of, of the national team is black and, and, and partly African. Yeah. That, that's yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah, but he should because, have because, yes, They want to forget that they're African, no. maybe, but not black, because it's, it's just a ridiculous thing. How no, can you forget someone it's black? Not. It's not. Their faces are going to be plastered on... I don't think... Look, media, all I think is... For how long to come. You can't forget that. At the end of the day is... This is why I say that you can't apply certain places to other places, right? Uh, but I, I, again, when I think that when it, France, comes, when it comes to in, in, institutionalized racism, you can apply it no. everywhere. It's blanket no. everywhere. Okay, no, you, no, he should have just said that. That's just no, 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 sorry, no. no. If you can, you can apply the system of, of racism and how it's been set up. Yes, mm-hmm. that goes blanket. Yeah. But what you cannot apply everywhere is how people are trying to counteract it today. That's and fine. different countries apply it differently. The way France is doing it is quite aggressive and quite patriotic in the sense that we are saying that whatever happens, you are French. Yeah, first. but but then the but only then person I that all that into but, yeah, but, but then I don't it. think that it's just, it's just France doing that. I have been saying for years that regardless of whether you're born in, uh, I'm not sure about Italy, but I'll I'll say Spain and Portugal for an example. Yeah. Regardless of 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 who you who you are born to in Spain, if whether you're son of Arabs or or, or son of black people, if you are born and raised there, you are Spanish. Spanish people and Portuguese people, from what I know, mm. are, 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 are patriotic. So you are so you are taught to feel Spanish. When I when I go to Spain and I meet people that that, that don't know me necessarily, and I say my parents are immigrants, but I was born in ah, so you're Spanish. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's not just France. Like we no, can't but, say that that's what there's, there's different no, levels. Like there, there are Euro, there are European countries that if you're son of, of immigrants and and you're born and raised there they do consider they do consider you part of that so it's it's, it's not it's not just France. no they do but no but like i said the, the, the french and it's you can see it like i say through the political because most european countries movements. most european countries in general are patriotic from start no, but, 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 france but, 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 but france is a very specific nation in the way they do things they they're, is, much, more they vocal, so they're much more vocal about things being very ultra french and this is the situation, da 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 da. It's 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 a thing that you can see clearly in the way that politically they do things as well within their own country. From the way they are, they, diff- from, they are different. Look, from the way they're trying to ban certain articles of clothing because yeah. they fall into the, what the idea of Frenchness is for them and so on. They are very specific about the way they do things, right? So my thing is this: if you have a country that is that insistent about, first of all, you are French. The reason we say this is because previously. As a nation, the people who are more racist and more of the right leanings will say your skin colour doesn't make you really French. The same way people will ask you where are you really from. They're trying to remove that from, from happening by saying, look, first and foremost, you are French. This joke, especially that point when you're saying you don't get that tan from, from the south of France, is basically the same rhetoric you get from racist people. And for him, he may have overreacted to the joke. He clearly overreacted to the joke, but when you get called on it, you either stick down and say it was a joke, or you have to be a bit more. Well, what I'm trying to say is that he, only, he, he can only he can only do that step down if he believes that he said something wrong. Is what no, I'm but the to thing say. is, if I you don't, don't think you said something wrong because what you said was a joke, this is the problem. You can't be having it both ways, saying it was a joke, but actually, also, I believe it for this reason. You have to be consistent with it, right? He went on to attack France. As a nation, from I don't there. think it's like France as a nation. Talk, come on, talking about, oh, you know, I think it says more about your colonization and so on. He if is, well, if he you have someone, history, if you have someone who is a first um, generation removed immigrant, that person came to France because they figured there's a better life for them in France. They were not taken from France years in, or from Africa years yeah, and years and years ago. Yeah. So you're now putting them in the same situation as someone that might have said, you know what, I actually want to go to France and make a life for myself there. You're attacking that part of their culture. Yeah, but so, so Rather than just hold your hands up and say, do you know what, yep, yeah, my bad, the joke might have been a bit insensitive for you, but it was a joke. But that, what you I'm trying to say is that maybe he doesn't think that it was insensitive. So that's what I'm trying to say. Maybe he doesn't think that he was being yeah, insensitive. Yeah, but then if you, you don't... shouldn't have to... No, but then why do you not think that. it's insensitive? You, yeah. you stick to the line of it being a joke. Yeah. You don't go on an attack. If you go on and attack something... That's because you feel like you have to defend your comment. If you didn't feel like it was anything in this first place, you'd be like, it's a joke, yeah, but, the joke is a but joke. Do, don't you think that he defended his comment because the ambassador of France sent him an um, uh, uh, email or whatever? Potentially, he got home, right? Yeah. And saw the Twitter feed, maybe as you said, mm-hmm. I, didn't, I didn't say it because I'm not on Twitter, really. 
and saw that everybody was saying, you know what, not not great. Maybe he, he went up on the YouTube comments mm. and saw, okay, whatever. The reason probably why he replied is because the ambassador of France decided to send him a letter. That's yeah, but, no, why he but, 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 no, he no, but the only yeah. reason we know that that even was sent to us because he made it public. Yes, because it's the ambassador. The ambassador. See, but, is, but, but, no, but the whole point is, if you no, have, if you have, a, if you're saying that he saw something on Twitter, if you think genuinely that you made a joke and a joke is a joke. And he's made so many jokes over the course of his time on that show that he hasn't replied to despite people going back and forth and I'm sure he's been getting stuff from it as well. The point being there, he felt some kind of way because this white French person was telling him something. Yeah, something that he didn't agree with. But then, like Which I said, he, he so his reply was to attack France as a, as a country in terms of their, their racial histories and make stupid comments like, oh, if you dropped this kid, he wouldn't be French, would he? That has nothing to do. It may have it has to do nothing. It has zero well, it may, to do it with the topic. Some, it, there may be some truth behind no, it. No, so, but regardless of whatever truth there is behind it, you're grasping at straws to try and prove your point now. And that's my whole point with him. Was like, stick to your topic. Yeah. Or I don't. Mean, you but, can't start grasping to, to prove a point, and that's what he was doing. You have so many people from France saying this is not right. Actually, your comment here is not correct. You have people from South Africa, other black South Africans saying, and this is the thing that made me laugh. Like, Trevor. You're a, um, a South African man, self-proclaimed, but your father is from Switzerland. Why are we not claiming that you're Swiss? Or why do you not claim that you're Swiss? Because you were born and brought up in Africa and you identify as African. Now you're trying to do to these African players something that you wouldn't let them to you. Per- personally, I don't think that he was trying to delete their Frenchness. He wasn't, he wasn't trying to delete their Frenchness, I, I, yeah, but, I but think he's calling into question and the joke I, I calls pers- into question. I personally, like, just from having heard it, I don't feel like it's calling into question. Their French is just like when I make jokes about when I made a joke in Seville to Mwanza that um, Kante was not French. Mm. I didn't really mean it. Do you know what I mean? No, I was not trying to call into question that as again, and I and I wouldn't do that as as a first generation. Yeah, but, black, but black, if black somebody, Caribbean, I wouldn't do that. But if it's somebody just, it's just a joke. Do you know what I mean? It's just like if I was a sportsman and I won, I don't know, uh, something for Spain. If someone said he's also won it for Portugal or Andorra, well, yeah, I have. Yeah, but the point there is, if what, the, what, what, I don't understand in terms, no, but that. in terms of, of you making the joke, if someone challenges you on the joke, you could say, "Mate, I'm just joking." Clearly, he's French. That ends. Yeah. That, that, but, that ends but, the debate. But, yeah, but and then if someone says to you, and this is probably if someone Personally, says I to you, not apologize. Which is no, but but that's the thing. Don't apologize for the joke. Yeah. But then don't don't do what you then did. But. If you're saying that, oh, no, someone said that you won it for Portugal or Angola or whatever, and you like, actually, you wouldn't feel some happy way about it, that's fine. But the thing what we have here is, it all of a sudden turned into this thing of, after he's made his joke, he's now deciding for these African slash French players who they should feel they represent. None of them have come out and said, I feel like this is a victory for Africa or whatever. They've just been like, we're the French team, we won the World Cup, we're celebrating. Because of his joke and his reaction to the French ambassador's response to it, all of a sudden, him and everyone else now is deciding for these French people who they should identify. I don't know. Personally, this is all the I, that I, came just, out. I just think that going back to the sensitivity, we're all just too highly sensitive. This is what I'm saying. Like, so like, if so the joke comes out, just sensitive. I, I understood it for what it was meant for. Uh, when when he replied back to, to the ambassador, I understood it that he was just irked by, by the attention from the French ambassador, who should should have better things to do. Um, some people would like to reply and, and, and others don't, but I, I don't think, I personally do not think that it was calling into question that the guys are French. Personally, I think that what, what I think he was trying to do is defend the fact that they are African. That's, I think, all that I understand that France is trying to maybe super nationalize or make everybody super, 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 super French or whatever. Personally, I repeat, I'm not the one that, that's going to call that in, in, into question. Mm. I would never, obviously, for obvious reasons. But he's just trying to highlight that once again as well, when they did win, mm. it was a team... Look, these players were born in France. I think mo- most of them, I think. All but two. They were all, uh, like, they all started their, their football training in France. Yep. So regardless, they are obviously French. They, they mm. learned football in the French style. We've already sort of mentioned, you know, African teams have a very African way of playing. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So they, they did not play like African players apart from from Kante probably. Mm-hmm. They they did not play like Afro African players full stop. So I do not think that the, we're trying to say all oh, the African blah blah. It was a joke. 
some people just got a bit too strung up on it. Maybe his his rebuttal. Personally, I like to rebuttal because it's something that I would have done. Because why why should I be apologising for something that I think is is self evident, right? So yeah, maybe the wrong thing to do was to sort of attack again. But personally, like with, with my characters, that I I, can I, I just say, done, can personally, I just say, if people want to, th- but like, nobody's tell asking. Them, can I just say, nobody's asking for an apology. Yeah. Okay, if I make a joke about, yeah. say, I've just killed my oh, I, my wife has just died, yeah, something like that, and oh, it's going to be great for me, like the weight off my shoulders, she's not going to be moaning at me or something. Mm. And there's somebody in the room who has just had their wife mm. die, and that upsets them. Mm. Okay, I'm apologizing, not apologizing for the joke. I'm, about, I'm upsetting. I didn't. I did not know that. Um, or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Or I didn't think. Do you understand? Yeah. And what I've said has upset you. So the effect yeah. it had is something. Is I'm the sorry effect? For. I'm, I'm, for, I'm sorry. Yeah, for that effect of you. But I'm not apologising for the joke. That's all he had to say. Mm. It's just saying. Yeah, but what I'm bad. saying. I thought it was funny. I think what I'm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, I, but I think. I think look, but I think. I don't my, know my, my, no, my my issue here is that from the two of you, you're, you're sort of saying how he had to reply. Right, you guys are telling me how he had to reply. But but no, but no, but you're saying how he had to reply full stop. And what I'm saying is, I'm not saying that I disagree with what you guys are saying. What I'm saying is that I do not believe that we should tell him how he had to reply. He replied how Trevor Nelson felt like replying. And whether you guys felt like that was attacking even more, cool, fantastic. But Trevor Nelson replied how he felt he he wanted to reply because he's Trevor Nelson. I love oh, yeah, yeah. Juanito will reply how Juanito wants to reply. Hmm. I'll bring reply how I'll bring what wants to reply. And that's that's what that's, I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Like, I, we're causing a fuss because he needs to reply. There's no, he doesn't need to reply like that. He didn't need to reply. I felt he was playing his toys out the crowd. No, however, he wants to yeah. reply. I felt he threw his toys out the crowd. He didn't have to reply. He just no. didn't. Well, he didn't but, yeah, have but, but if he was, but if he was, but then that's the thing is, but if he was, yeah, yeah, but if you, I personally like that reply. No, but the thing, like I say, you can obviously you can reply however you want to reply, but the the way you reply is going to be up for debate. That's 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 something. And the point is the way he replied, regardless of how I think he should reply. The way he replied opened up the fact that what he started off with. And what he finished with were two very different positions. I think Tre- Tre- Trevor Nelson is um is a DJ on on. Trevor Nelson. Trevor Nelson. We're not wrapping up. Let's just call it a day. Trevor Nelson. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so we got about isn't it? Yeah. Guys, as always, pleasure to sit down and chat. Um, I need to hopefully come back again for another one at some point. Um, at Thai Podcast on all social media as always. Peace out.